Let's bring in Derek Johnson, NAACP president uh, and CEO, who is also present at today's meeting. Uh, how, would you, uh, how would you qualify the meeting overall, Derek? Well, Facebook is more interested in dialogues than action and outcomes. Uh, it's always a pleasant conversation, but at the end of the day, uh, we've done nothing, or they've done nothing, I should say, to keep this, our society safe and protect our democracy. Uh, this is just not enough. We provided them uh, with the list of 10 things over three weeks ago. They asked for the meeting. And we're happy to meet, but the outcome of the meeting was the same thing we've got from the last meeting, very little to no action. Um, I, I'm sure you uh, accept that they're in quite a tricky position, uh, Derek, that uh, they've got a, a lot of competing uh, pressures on them. What could they have done today? What could Mark Zuckerberg have done today that would have satisfied you? Well, it's, it's not a tricky position to work to remove hate, racial hate from your platform. It's not a tricky position uh, to, to secure our democracy. Uh, they had 10 things. Uh, there is nothing that was done. Uh, you think about uh, the politician inception, and, he, and on their platform, we had a politician who say, when the looting starts, the shooting begins. Uh, they put African-Americans at risk. They have African-American employees, and they didn't even take that into consideration, and they left that, that divisive uh, post on their platform. The reason why it was there is because they lack any senior-level civil rights uh, person with experience to speak to how that post alone can, can incite violence. What did they say? What did Mark Zuckerberg say? What did Sheryl Sandberg say? It's the same conversation. You know, they speak about progress being made, but we have nothing to measure against. They talk about value alignments. That's good conversation, but nothing was done. Uh, they talk about maintaining open dialogue. We've always done that, but there are no actions. Do, do you believe that they approach this purely as a PR exercise, as, as one other uh, meeting participant framed it as? After being in dialogue with Facebook for over two years, uh, the only thing I can measure are the outcomes, and there have been no action. So the purpose of the meeting was to continue dialogue, which seems to be the most interesting, the thing they're most interested in. And, and there are no outcomes. There are no outcomes. There are no outcomes. I keep repeating the same thing. And, you know, just like any mm -hmm. company or investor, they're looking for outcomes, a return on investments. There are no return on the investment of the dialogues that we've had over two years. What's different this time, Derek, is the, I mean, we just put it on a wall, the number of giants in corporate America that are either pausing or pulling ads from Facebook's platforms. So was there any conversation about that and what would happen next in, in this movement that you've created, that you've enlisted so many well-known brands like Coca-Cola and Unilever into the cause? I guess Coca-Cola not officially part of the boycott, but still pausing social media spend. But we appreciate those brands and the value alignment that we see. Those brands like NAACP and all of our partners, we believe that our society should be free of hate speech. We believe that our society should ensure and protect our democracy. That's, the, that's a value alignment. And unfortunately, Facebook has not done anything to self-regulate to ensure that racial hate groups are removed from the platforms. They have qualified personnel in their structure who can understand and appreciate the need to have a civil rights review of their policy, and they have not done anything to ensure the protection of our democracy. So are you going to call for this boycott to last beyond July into August? We're going to continue to push to make sure our communities are safe. You know, I think about African-American employees at Facebook. Some was on the, on the uh, Zoom call, and, and I asked a question. What, would, if, what impact do you think they, their life would have when they leave the, the safety of that campus and they go to African-American communities and racial hatred posts are there to incite incidents? You're putting your own uh, staff at risk. Those company that align with our values. They have African-American employees. They have Jewish employees. They're putting their, their employees at risk. We should not be in this, in 2020, looking at companies like Facebook who are refusing to do basic things like protect our society from racial hate speech and protect our democracy. How, how do you think this ends, uh, Derek? Do you think Facebook uh, will make the type of changes that you've been looking for? Uh, or do you think we'll go back to normal as if nothing ever happened? Or, or in fact, do you think lots and lots and lots of more companies will, will add 
their names to the list uh, of those boycotting Facebook? Well, the NAACP, we're 111 years old. We have been fighting against discrimination, racial hatred for that whole time. We will continue to fight. Uh, we have no option. And, and at some point, uh, we hope that Facebook will wake up to the reality is they have responsibility to keep communities safe. They have a responsibility to protect this democracy. And, and many of the partners who've stand, uh, stood up with us, we hope they will continue to stand with us. But for the NAACP, for African Americans, we must continue to fight. Our lives depend on it. Derek Johnson, thanks for joining us. Thank you.